Do you want to become a better UI designer in the next five minutes? Of course you do. That's why you're here and I'm here to help. Let's get to it. All right, five UI design tips that are gonna make you a better UI designer in five minutes or less, starting with our very first tip, and that is to remove the excess borders and boxes inside of your designs. You can see this card that I've designed here. It just has so many boxes. I mean, we're talking the top header is inside of a box. The element itself is a box. The search box, this input field is a box inside of a box inside of a box. That's a lot of boxes. And so to fix this thing, what we're going to do is just simply remove a lot of those excess boxes. We don't need them at all. All we have to do is use a little bit of extra white space, space things out a little bit nicer, replace some of those lines and outlines with subtle neutral background colors, and boom, you have done it. You have made this design 10x better by simply removing the excess boxes and borders. The next thing you gotta know as a UI designer is to stop using pure black on pure white or pure white on pure black. It strains the eyes and my eyes are already strained. So you can see in our example here, we have a card, the background is pure black, the text is pure white, and this is really hard on the eyes. Same thing if you were to flip it or flop it to black text on a white card. The way to solve this is just to reduce the color of that white text to more of a neutral, right? And this is gonna be better to read at scale. So we actually have here is E3 for our headline, or you can actually come into your body copy, make sure that it's pure white, but bring the opacity down a little bit. Those are a few different ways that you can solve the same problem, which is straining the eyes and allowing users to read black on white or white on black without killing their eyeballs. Another way to improve your UI design is to improve your UX copywriting. I know what you might be thinking, is that my job as a UI designer? And the answer is yes, it is. You can see in our example, the form on the left, uh, we have inputted our email incorrectly. We forgot to put an at symbol, we put an ampersand. But when we try to submit our form just says form error we don't know what to do how to fix it so by adding some user feedback by showing that that form is incorrect and then also writing better ux copy not just saying form error but by saying this is not a functioning email emails have an at symbol in them giving them very clear directive how to fix the problem by writing better ux copy makes you a better ui designer the next tip while you're designing is to start with too much white space and work your way back from there quite often designers will start on a design like this and they just pack everything together they put no white space inside and then they're constantly trying to expand and space things out and figure things out and it's just not going to be helpful you're going to spend more time figuring out what's wrong than you are fixing it and making it right so it's better to start with more white space like this and maybe you want to come in and reduce the amount of white space and then you can start fixing your design this is a much faster much easier approach to applying the appropriate amount of white space. Final tip of the day is to minimize the amount of colors that you use and control how you use those colors. I actually did a video all about how to use color in UI design. It's called the 60-30-10 rule. I'm gonna put a card up here and a link down in the description if you want to go practice and work on your color usage in UI design. But in a nutshell, when we use color and we have no really rhyme or reason or governance on how we use that color we're using too many colors and we're using it too much it starts to look a little bit like a yard sale and this is where designs start to look cheap they start to look immature and so by controlling the amount of color that we use limiting it to a 60 30 10 so 60 percent is going to be our white light neutral color 30 percent is going to be some sort of base color and then only 10 percent of our design is going to actually be using some sort of complement or call to action color when we actually kind of control our colors use color wisely use less color we are going to be way better in our ui designs well, that's it for the video today if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i do lots of videos about design and development and tips and tricks just like this one so hit that little bell notification icon so you know when more videos like this one come out if you have any questions leave those down in the comments and i hope you're having an amazing week i hope you're designing amazing things making amazing things and learning and growing as you go we'll see you in the next one